Today we are going to make a ponzu based seared albacore appetizer. This is one of the most popular appetizers in our restaurant. To make this dish, we will need seven thin slices of albacore, seven medium cilantro leaves, seven thin slices of serranos or jalapeno peppers, seven slices of black olive, ponzu sauce, and some hot sauce. We will be plating this on an Italian olive appetizer dish. Now we are going to prepare our albacore flowers. To do this, we are going to take our thin slices of albacore and we are going to cut them at a slight angle, like so. Once we do this, we're going to overlap them slightly like this and we're going to roll them up gently into a flower. Here we have our albacore flour. Now we're going to do this with our seven other slices of fish as well. Now that we have our seven albacore flours, we are going to lightly sear them. We will take our torch and begin searing them. We're aiming for a very light sear here. Now that we have a very light sear on them, we can begin plating. To plate this dish, we're going to start by placing the largest albacore flour in the center of the dish. Then we will place a pepper slice on either side. We are doing this to help us get even spacing. Then we're going to take our next largest albacore flours and place them on either side of the pepper slices. At this point, we're just going to repeat this process until we have all of our albacore flowers and peppers placed. And we want to make sure we have even spacing between all the ingredients. Once we have all the albacore flowers and peppers placed, we will put a single leaf of cilantro on top of each flower. Like so. After we've placed our cilantro, we're going to place our black olive slices. And we'll just place one black olive slice on top of each piece of cilantro. Like so. Now that we have all of our ingredients placed, we'll move on to saucing the dish. Start by adding a small amount of ponzu to the base of the dish. We don't want to pour over the top of the fish because we don't want to oversaturate the albacore with ponzu or for the ponzu to become oily with the oil from the albacore. Now that we have added a small amount of ponzu to the bottom, we will finish it off by placing a dot of hot sauce on each piece. Just like this. Now here we have our completed ponzu based seared albacore appetizer. 